So I was having some fun with VLC, and VLC, for many of you who used it, is a it's a do everything to it. it plays music, and it also does multicasting. And I was playing with the multicasting option, and I went to the wizard for streaming and transcoding. I said, sure, I want to stream my content to the network in my home. I said, next. I picked a file I'd like to send out. I said, next. I said, I want it to be UDP multicast. Go ahead and use this group, 224.1.2.3. Looks good. And then it says, do you want to transcode it? No, Paul, send it as it is. And then I clicked on the encapsulation format, which is defaults to this for the default settings I had. Click on next. I could name it. The TTL, how many router hops it'll go over. And then local playback, yes or no. And then click next. It gives me a confirmation, and then it goes for it. Now, check this out. Multicast is a lot of fun. However, this multicast address, once it's set into your network in a switched environment, what is your switch going to do with that? I guess the first question to ask is, what exactly is the layer 2 address associated with that? So I got out a protocol analyzer, and I looked at it. I get the VLC stuff out of the way. The destination multicast address for that multicast group of 224.1.2.3 is right here. It's 01005E, no shock there, multicast, and then 010203. Now, what's the switch, my dear switch here, what's it going to do when it receives that frame on a port? Let's say it's coming in from another network, which it was in my case. It's being forwarded through a multicast router. It's being put in this port. What is the switch going to do with it? Well, the switch is going to say, I don't know where that destination MAC address lives by default. I'm just going to forward it to every other port because it's an unknown. And unfortunately, that is wasted bandwidth, so everybody's going to receive those bits Everybody's gonna, be, everybody's gonna look at the layer two frames and only the members of that group will then continue to de-encapsulate that. Wouldn't it be great if there was a way we could train the switch to get smart and say, you know what, pay attention to the multicast group and only forward those multicast frames to the devices who are participating in multicast, meaning they're either they're a PIM device they've sent register messages, or they've sent member messages with IGMP, make sure you pay attention to all that, snoop in on that, eavesdrop, and don't waste people's bandwidth and time who don't need the bits. And that's exactly what the feature of IGMP snooping does for a living. So here's what I did. Let me bring in a switch. Now, this is not the same switch. This is a 48 port 3560. And here we have, it looks like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, a 12 port, well, maybe 13, port 3560, a small one, power over Ethernet. So on my switch, what I did is this. I said, well, let me see how hard it is to enable this IGMP snooping and have this guy start getting smart. And it wasn't very hard at all. In fact, all I had to do was go to global config and type in IP IGMP snooping, enter. And then I had to turn on the feature for VLAN 1. That's where all my stuff is. That's it. Da, 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 da. Show's over. That's it. So what this is doing now, my switch is now going to start filtering and not bother sending multicast traffic to ports that don't have any need for it. So just that alone, this is going to eavesdrop. It's going to figure out where my router's running PIM are. It's going to figure out where my clients who sent IGMP messages in the network and I can verify that with a couple of quick show commands. We do show IP IGMP snooping. And then well, we can start with that one. That's good. And then we can do a question mark and see if there's other options here. There's groups. And let me bring this over a little bit further to the right or to the left so you can see. And so what this says, it shows me I've got 224, 1.2.3, 225, 2.4.3, and 226, 4.5.3. And here's the ports involved. If I want to see which of those devices are routers, I could do a show IP IGMP snooping, and let's look at the question mark again, M router, that'll do it. And that's going to show me my two devices. I do have two routers on VLAN 1. They're both doing multicast routing, and that would mean that this port 21 has joined three separate groups. So that's why he's showing up. So my switch, in this case, this 48 port switch, is now filtering on ports that don't need the multicast data and forwarding where it needs to. And that, my friends, is how you set up IGMP snooping.